So, to come back, so I'm going to talk about my 1990s uh, generation uh, singers and their uh, CDs. Let's start with uh, Nama Ludugama. Um, you can uh, also listen to his uh, music in the background. Now, Nama Ludugama was a real, uh, you know, uh, kind of celebrity in this uh, time at the early stage of uh, early 90s or late 80s. He was like the the superstar at that time. Uh, I remember, uh, you know, all the girls were, you know, following him. He was like very handsome, very, you know, it's like a, he was like, a, I think like a Khan those days, uh, like a Hindi act actor. So all the young girls were following him and we as young undergraduates, we were even jealous of him because he, he got a lot of following among girls, so he a lot of, not me, but a lot of male guys considered him as like a competition. But uh, for me, uh, I really like his uh, music, his uh, romantic, you know, melodious songs, uh, like this song. Uh, so it, it was a really good time. I had a lot of uh, memories uh, of his uh, songs and my personal experience. So it was my one of my favorites in 1990s. So this is Nama Ludugama. And uh, uh, next is uh, Chandralekha Pereira. I want to actually highlight, uh, I have only like a limited collection. Some of these CDs I bought later uh, just to, uh, you know, recollect my memories, which I uh, originally uh, listened in the uh, 90s, but uh, later I purchased back just to keep the memory. Now, Chandralekha was actually from 80s. She was very popular in the 80s as an drama actress as well as a singer but uh, i think uh, uh, in 90s when she got married to rukanta she became uh, it was a different music and uh, but i actually uh, uh, i used to know chandralekha long ago because she is also uh, she used to live in kurunagal and uh, i uh, used to uh, consider her as a very lovely musician uh, and i like lot of her songs and uh, yeah, she uh, remain even now uh, very uh, one of my favorite uh, singers. So this is uh, Nira Nuan, I think it's the first uh, maybe uh, CD by uh, Sandhulika. So with Sandhulika of course you have uh, uh, Ukanta but this this is a, uh, it's a different collection. It's uh, Adharamal Pavani, it's uh, Jyoti Pala's songs uh, sung by uh, uh, Ukanta but it was very melodious. So I, kept it and you should listen even now. This is Chandra, uh, Sukanta Rukanta needs no introduction. He is, uh, uh, we call him like a democratization of Sri Lankan music because with Rukanta's style and his uh, intervention uh, uh, till then, uh, music was more kind of uh, expert's feel, but Rukanta made it, uh, you know, simple for anybody to sing. And people like us who were just listeners, uh, you know, uh, we were kind of interested in singing songs because uh, Rukanta made it very comfortable for anybody to sing. He didn't follow all these established norms or established rules of music. So he kind of made it very grassroots and uh, this was lately, uh, you know, uh, followed and uh, strengthened by people like Kapil Adhikari. But uh, Rukanta is the real uh, democratization of Sri Lankan uh, music industry started in uh, 90s. So his impressions, his uh, footprint is still uh, in in any any uh, field of uh, music in Sri Lankan uh, industry, musical industry. Okay, this book on the In fact, I didn't like him at the beginning, but uh, he became like the hit, and I hook up a uh, little later. Okay, so this guy, some of you don't maybe know, but he was also a very talented guy, Jason Jayama. He was a very handsome, uh, you know, uh, youthful looking uh, figure. His songs were very popular, romantic songs, but uh, for some reason his popularity didn't sustain for a long time. Uh, this was by uh, uh, Gretchen Dayama. I, I saw him recently, uh, he lives maybe in some other country, but I saw it recently he was in the TV. Of course, uh, this is one of my another um, uh, favorite, Atul Adhikari. Uh, uh, he remains popular, but uh, Atula's uh, first uh, songs after leaving Sunflowers with uh, 
Atula uh, and Samita combination was like a, another successful uh, Sri Lanka music uh, hit, you know, story. Uh, people know about them. They remain popular. Both are very good, uh, talented uh, musicians. But my favorite is Atula, and of course uh, Samita is also a very good uh, uh, artist. So Atula Dikari, uh, I have been listening to him from uh, early 90s. Then comes Charlie uh, Vaidanta, uh, he is now a senior artist. You can see him in the television, you can see him in those, this uh, competition, but he is a very uh, uh, talented, achieved uh, uh, music uh, uh, kind of master and teacher, uh, director, composer, singer. Uh, but he actually started now, for example, this Nuru Kalpana is. Uh, uh, very, uh, you know, very romantic collection. Also, that is DJ. His songs were very popular among young uh, lovers, young, you know, youthful guys who he, he kind of reintroduced uh, romantic soul songs in Sri Lanka. His, his, uh, you know, his songs are still uh, very popular and uh, associated, associated by many people of, for example, my generation in their youth. So, uh, this is. Uh, and he is still uh, very popular and known in the uh, industry. Uh, this is another collection by a uh, composer called Nihal Gambeva and he actually he, he was a composer of many uh, popular singers uh, on that era, Prince Sudeep and Atula uh, uh, what is his name, there are a lot of people, I forgot their names. Uh, uh, let me just 